Good morning to you. It's Wednesday the 23rd of April. Also ahead today, a head on point. Not even the last kick, the last touch of the game. It's not good, Amazing. is it? Yeah. Own goal, more of that Chris later. have the details. Morning first, our main story. The full cost of internet credit card fraud is far worse than official figures suggest, according to online crime experts. A three-month investigation by the BBC has revealed internet fraudsters tried to steal more than half a billion pounds in 2007. The inquiry also discovered just how easy it is to find stolen card details on the net. Hillary Clinton won the pen turning in her face. Well, our correspondent, Catty Kay, is at Hillary Clinton's campaign headquarters in Philadelphia for us. Hello to you, Catty. Is this a convincing win for Hillary Clinton, do you think? <laughs> Thank you very much, Macca's. Hillary. He does. I'm going like for it? a snackers at Macca's. Yeah. All right, then. More for an hour a little bit later. <laughs> God, he wakes you up in the morning, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, it does. 19 minutes past six. This is breakfast. These are the main stories this morning. Also coming up, Alison Harper's in Southampton this morning to see how you can keep trim by exercising your green fingers. What next? <laughs> it just gets what order next? and order, doesn't it? This program gets <laughs> order and order. Hello, Matt. Morning to you. Good morning. This is Breakfast with Sean Williams and Bill Turnbull. Good morning to you. Our main news this morning, the scale of online credit card fraud could be even greater than previously thought. A BBC investigation has found that criminals tried to steal as much as £500 million last year. That's almost doubled the official estimate. The investigation... Now, you are what your mother eats, scientists say, women who consume more calories and more breakfast cereal. It was a really competitive match, not a beautiful match to watch. Um, and I think Liverpool fans uh, were just thinking, you might have just edged this match and until, what, the fifth minute of extra time. Heartbreak for them, but it's... Later here on Breakfast. Ooh. If you're a male presenter... Row. You better watch yourself. <laughs> Get the local news where you are. I'm going to... Hope you purse. Reporting to us from Washington, you can get more details on the U.S. election according to research by the British. Right on the top. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'm so sorry. It's just a morning slip. That's all. No, the time is fine. 18 minutes past seven. And still to come on the program this morning. I'm not sure it's even got a I name. I don't think it has a name. You no. see, I was completely... Anyway, yeah, let's get the weather. Neck. You swap with me. I will get the weather from Matt. <laughs> Hello, Matt. I'm uh, Steph in Swansea. It is the Red Genial. Dragon after all. Now, are there rumblings at RBS? Here's Aaron. There are. We're catching <laughs> on catching now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's 22 minutes past seven. The romantic image of poachers taking one for the pot simply isn't true because organised criminal gangs are now threatening... Britain's wildlife. That is the message this morning from the National Wildlife Crime Unit, which says poaching is a growing problem. Danny Savage joins us from uh, the River Tyne. Morning to you, Danny. Yes, but um, I don't really think this has got anything to do with it. No, I think it's. I think uh, th there could be an indication that perhaps it affects. Mention of sperm being inhibited suddenly makes me think of Woody Allen for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you remember? That's what I do with the everything you wanted to know about sex, but I'm afraid to ask. But, um, but um, I thought it was all about chromosomes. But I know this is the significant research, and it comes from the University of Exeter and the University of Oxford, and they looked at 800 women before yeah. conception and after. And I know it has validity. Yeah. It just kind of doesn't feel right, does it? Otherwise, no. it, you know, because wheat has only been... A designer makeover for Mackie D, Mackie D. as yeah, Aaron Mackie calls D. So You're going to use that now. Hello, this is Breakfast with Sean Williams and Bill Turnbull. Well, there's much more on that story across the day on BBC News. In a few moments, we're going to be giving you some advice on how you can avoid getting ripped off. Stay with us for that. Credit, <laughs> credit card online fraud. I know. How did that happen? <laughs> I've never... So much, it's a theme we keep coming mm. back to, and yet there seems to be sort of no... Central hub, I and mean, we from in the the package that we had earlier, the, somebody had a problem. Police not really interested. Police are 3D secure and uh, verified by Visa. Is uh, it cheap? It's, it's free. It's it, free. Yeah, it doesn't cost you a penny, but it's another password. Thanks isn't very it? much for coming okay. to us. Nice to see you. Uh, the time is 18 minutes past eight. Let's tell you what's coming up here on breakfast a little later. Sean, you were here last time. Earth, yeah. Should I be nervous? It, she liked Dermot a lot, and I'm sure she'll like you as well. She's in her 80s, but she's unstoppable, let's say that. I think it'd be quite entertaining. <laughs> ah. Isn't that with the weather? <laughs> Good morning, this is Breakfast with Sean Williams and Bill Turnbull. Good morning to our main news this morning. The scale of online credit card fraud could be even greater than previously thought. A BBC investigation has found that criminals tend to try to steal as much as £500 million last year, and that's almost double the official estimate. The investigation Courtney Pine about finding inspiration on the remote island of Lindisfarne. The critics didn't care for it, but frankly, my dear, it's the audience who counts. We were at last night's premiere of the new stage version 
of Gone with the Wind with Darius Dinesh getting stuck in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the legendary Arthur oh, Kitt like is back on stage in the UK. She'll be here before the end of the programme. Oh, no well. wonder he likes his... Don't remember that, that in the film, do you? <laughs> it's the way, she, it's the way she tells him. <laughs> oh, no. Hey? I was looking at that and then, oh, ooh, ooh, steady. steady. Slimy. <laughs> Morning to both Morning. of you. He has three... It, it, the list of boys goes on that, and on and I'm the all anomaly. That Lots of cereal. Well, look, well, I, the environment and the health of, of the woman, I don't know. I mean, do, do you, you don't buy this at all, do you? But well, I think that I think if a woman's eaten well I or eaten I certain th foods, th then I, she I might be. I think perhaps there might be. I've had a lot of. But I, I, in February, I eat fish and chocolate, Laura, and I don't eat red meat, and I've had three boys as well. So. On the other hand, you've got to eat one. Or, you've got to have one or the other. Haven't you've got to eat a fifty-fifty chance. Fifty-fifty at least. James. <laughs> no, because uh, Elvis was in Germany from uh, nineteen fifty-eight to nineteen sixty. Right. And the only time he was granted leave was to go... In the back of a car, you wouldn't have seen him, Julie, would you? No, but Elvis wasn't very good at being in... So, would you? But you think... He was, think he, was he, was told to be, he, he was told that it should be a secret. You Elvis think, didn't want it though, revealed. Well, exactly. But you think that Elvis, you know, who wasn't exactly reticent about these things, at some point would have mentioned that he'd been to Britain more than once. I and mean, it's not exactly it's like it was a state oh. secret. He knew how, you know, how big a fan base he had. And that was, as we were saying, inner city boy, yeah. goes to somewhere like Holy Island, just off the coast of Northumberland, yeah. and he's, he found a completely different environment that really inspired him. Totally different vibe. Uh, yeah, this is a part of um, several programmes about Great Britain. Um, and um, I was fortunate to... To, to, to incorporate uh, the elements, because it's... Oh. it's can be quite bleak there, can't well, it? Well, and I suppose that the point of it was to, to, to highlight St George's Day and the fact yeah. that in England there are very, very different areas, very different sounds. Yeah. When you went to Holy Island, it was a very different sound to your sound in Inner London, and you heard nature almost yeah. for the fun. They joined us now. Hi, guys. Who are looking at today? Hi. Morning, Chris. We're in the presence of a legend. As a kid, you have a fabulous voice. Thank you. You just only one word, <laughs> just, but we've got to get. Uh, news around the rest of the country will come back. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Here it is. Not for Tell the me body about <laughs> to do. <laughs> wow. You have not been excluded, darling. You're oh, also I? I <laughs> Just a little bit of mine, though. And a whole heap of yours. You, you're getting closer and closer. <laughs> this is I happen to like women. But you know, oh, good. I, I like, I, I, I love men, but yes. I like women. Uh, Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank fun. you very much. You two are fun, I like you. Good. <laughs>